up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Tsunami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Finally, finally, I can make this video and let you all know that I have conquered the final obstacle between me and global domination. That is the punching bag event. I have finally, finally achieved it. I beat the punching bag event with no items and I got over 77 million damage. This is a humongous achievement for me because this resolves an issue that I have been dealing since February. <gasps> this resolves an issue that I have been fighting through since the 6th of February 2019. Why? Because on the 6th of February 2019, this stupid event was brought onto global. The Dokkan Punching Bag event. This event is basically a test to see how much damage you can do with a single hit with a unit. And at the time of this event's release, there were only two units that were able to get this job done at the full maximum damage threshold, which is 77 million. Those two units were LR Goku Frieza and LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. If you didn't have either one of those at the 100% capacity, I believe you were not able to get this done. Actually, I think it was Goku Frieza had to be 100%, but the Gohan could get away with not being 100%. It could get away with being like a 90 or a 79. In any case, the Goku Frieza was the unit of choice for me because, as most of you should know, that was the first unit that I ever rainbowed in the entire game. So I have had this rainbowed LR since day one, and I knew that I had to get this done with the Goku Frieza. So this is the first version of the team that I ever ran for doing the punching bag event. Obviously, the Goku Blue didn't have his EZA at the time, so his 35% nuking lead was actually 33. I don't even know if the Kid Buu was even here, and if he was, he definitely didn't have an EZA. But I had the Turles, Entrade 18, Bardock, and Goku Frieza, along with Kid Buu. So I would jump onto these events every single day to get these runs done. And what sucks about this is that you only have two attempts per day. It's very dumb, because since it's all RNG-based, if those two runs give you poor setups, or if your Goku Frieza is in the seventh slot, you're not even gonna bother, you might as well just quit. And that happened quite a bit. So for about six months, I tried this every single day and I ultimately quit. I knew that it just wasn't gonna happen. And the hardest thing that I had to do as an OCD Dokkan player was to accept the fact that I will see round numbers on the daily missions, the Korin missions, the Kami missions, the King Kai missions, even Supreme Kai's trials would all be empty and complete, but I would never get that 100% mark on these special missions. That was always something that would nag at me, and then even that took a few months to get over. And then for a little while, I was able to just walk away and just not think about it. Until recently, when a buddy of mine swiped the stones, messages me, and tells me that he beat the 77 million mission for the no item version of the punching bag event. Initially, the punching bag event consisted of three events, one for each type of currency that you would typically want. Zenny, Potential Orbs, Dragon Stones. Over time, I think they realized that not many people are going to be able to get these done, so they instead released the itemed version of those same three stages. Zenny, Potential Orbs, and Dragon Stones. You were able to use items, however, the missions skyrocketed to 99 million, where you had to get the absolute maximum score you could possibly get. It was still able to be done very easily because of nuking items, so those were taken care of in no time. But still, these older missions remained, and I was never able to get them done. And then when my boy Swipe messages me and tells me that he's able to complete one of these stages with 77.7 .7 million, it reignited that spark in me to keep trying it again. And thankfully, recently a couple units have received some pretty decent EZAs. The Goku Blue got a crucial EZA, increasing the potency of his nuking leader skill from 33% to 35%. We also had the Goku Frieza get a massive EZA, which increases his stats, but also gave a crucial key feature to his skill set. Instead of now having to rely on the Turles or the eventual TN that I added to the team to lower the enemy's attack, I could now simply focus on the enemy's defense being lowered. And the best thing about that was that this tech TN could not only boost the target's attack and defense and change orbs, but also had a link known as Solid Support. Solid support at any level lowers the defense of the target by 15% at least. And since Goku Frieza also shares the solid support link, I no longer had to worry about having a tech TN use a super attack to prime up the Goku Frieza. I could just use the solid support link 
to satisfy the requirements to get that extra 77%. So with that in mind, my runs became more efficient and more consistent over the past month or so, and I was able to actually move up the ranks with some better runs, giving me better scores. I ultimately then decided to remove the tech Bardock and throw on the STR Topo because turn him a power ally, so there's some synergy there. Passive lowers enemy defense, boosts our attack by 40%. So all signs pointed to this guy being a part of the team, and this ultimately ended up being my team. Blue Goku, Goku Frieza, 18, Physical Kid Buu, STR Topo, and Tech Tien. And ever since that, things got so much better. Until finally, one day. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. was able to completely shatter the 77 million threshold, allowing me to pick up those missions that I never thought I could ever complete before. That just leaves me with two more 77 million damage runs that I need to get done on the Zenny stage and the Dragonstone stage, and those eventually will happen with time. And in case you're curious on getting started on these runs, just keep in mind you're gonna need a lot of patience, you're gonna need a lot of trial and error, and you're not only able to beat this with the tech team or the int team anymore. There are actually a lot of other teams that can get the job done with all of the new EZAs and units that have come out since. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. And let me know in the comments what team you've used to do these runs and what's the farthest you've ever been able to go on the item list levels. Not the ones where you use the items, but the ones where you don't. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. Hey! Click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to punch that stupid bag responsibly.